For this video, I'm going to show you the best render settings in the Adobe Premiere Pro. So this tutorial is going to be simple and quick. So I hope you enjoy. If you if this helped you, please subscribe and let's get started. Once you are done editing your clips and you're happy with your clips, we're going to go to export top left. This will pop up. The file name you can name it whatever you like and for location you can save it wherever and for preset it's gonna be for you it's gonna be match sorts but you want we wanna make changes to that. So once we make changes to that it's gonna say custom. So you wanna click the arrows, the drop down arrows, so it's gonna give you more options. And for first settings, frame size, you wanna change this to 1440p quad HD two fifty sixty fourteen forty p now if you render your video in 1080p, YouTube will compress the video so your video is not look good. So you all, always want to render video in 1440p. And for frame rates, you want to put it to 60. Now if you, if you record in higher FPS, you can put it to whatever FPS you record your video at, so 144 or 240. But for most people, they are probably going to use 60. And for pre order, you can just you, you can leave this at default. And, and for aspect, you leave it at default also. And then next, you want to click more, the three dots. And you want to check render at maximum depth and render and maximum render quality. Okay, make sure both of them have checked. And for these, you want to, you want to just leave it like that. And for hardware encoding, you want to make sure you want to use hardware encoders. This will use your PC resource to render the video. So if you have a powerful PC, your video will simply render faster. And then after that, you want to scroll down to bitrate settings. Now you want to change this to be beyond one pass, okay? Be beyond one pass. And then for target bitrate, you want to put it to two. You can change them to 24 and then this is the best bit rates for 1440p and then for audio you want to leave this everything to default don't mess with this okay and then after that you export your videos and then there you go thank you for watching